Hey guys, um, today I'm just going to be doing a small review on some old Lego trucks I've been making. Since I my leg is all wrapped up, I thought I'd just kind of sit around with the old Legos and build something. So I guess we can uh, get to work here. Let me grab some stuff real quick. we got to make everything look nice, not stupid. So, hold on. So, uh, here's one. Just an old Dodge 4x4 that I made. Um, uh, this grill comes off. Uh, I made that from the. Uh, where did I? I made this one from the uh, horse trailer and 4x4 set because it has this uh, curling piece and it curls down. And I. Um, that was pretty cool. So I thought I'd. Uh, pluck that out and just kind of show that so that was kind of cool to make that that was actually a really good thing to make I really like that and the back um, has these uh, little uh, things on them I don't know what they're called but usually people use them like as fencing and stuff but you know it's got a roof rack on it um, got these racks for it mm. Um, I don't, it's kind of like a visor. I think it just looks really cool on the truck. Makes it look a little bit more meaner in the front. Um, it's got mud flaps. Made those too. I got backup sides, and these aren't uh, blue or anything. They're all they're like a dark tinted black, so they look pretty cool. Um, under it, I made differential covers for them. They look like this. These little blocks here with the, uh, I don't know if you can see that real well. Let's round it off and I just put that right in the middle. Like that. And then they kind of look like, uh, like that. Right in the middle. I don't have one in here. I'm getting, gonna get one soon because I broke the axle a long time ago and I couldn't find it. So, anyway. Um, here's the Lego Bronco that you get with a, with a, do believe, the police set. The Forest Police. Um, I got some mining sets and I just kind of put some mining stickers on it. Um, put a mountain grill guard on it. Custom grill. It looks a lot, this one's a lot uglier because I'm working on a different bed for it. You know, because the beds are removable. For me, I make removable beds so I can just rip the bed off and put a different one of my, my choice on there. So, yeah. Um, it did get lifted a lot more than it should, but it looks pretty good to me. I think it looks good. So, and then we got. I guess I'll take the mirrors off since I only have one. Um, this is my towing truck. I tow a whole bunch of trailers with this one. Um, custom grill on the front. Made that. Like this part you'd find on like the dump truck. And I just kind of made the point with this one. This one doesn't have that curl on it. And you have to do this little thing in the back. And then you just kind of make your own. Um, I'll do a video on how to make those, but I put these under it if that'll look cool. So. so I'll show you how to make this grill some other day. So, um, like here's my Lego flatbed trailer. Um, I made this not too long ago, to be honest. I use these because they're a lot thicker, and some Lego trailers, you know, when you put a whole bunch of weight, they bend. But like when you put a lot of weight on this, it doesn't really flex that much. So that's why I made this one. Um, added like a, these blocks, yeah, like that. So works pretty good. And um, people usually use uh, little points for hitches, but I use uh, hold on, no, oops. this one. This truck here has a full differential on it, right there diff covers and stuff. But I use these, um, these little spin blocks here because they were if your trailer, even if it's not level, it will still stay on pretty well and it turns a lot easier and you don't have to have like that big wide four block just popping out of the you know, the bed and you can just have to make like a flatbed or something stupid and you don't need like a semi truck, so yep. Looks pretty good to me. Oh it's got boxes on the back. And I made this uh little back, there's a little window right there, and I made that. It's on top of the chest, I made that. That was pretty awesome to make, and then the lights were pretty cool to make, too. So, yep. Um, 
This truck's in the works right now. I've been working on this one. This truck, I've been, I don't know if you've seen Brick Boys 518, but he has a plow. Um, he calls them mocks, but, um, anyway. Um, he has a plow mock, and I've been kind of working on the, I'm just making a plow for this one, because winter's coming up, and I want, like, to kind of change the trucks around the seasons and stuff, I guess. So, I've been making the plow mounts for it. It's got horns, antennas. I got horns ready to, right here. And I got a bigger antenna for when I'm out on the dunes. It goes right where this little light is. But, um, so yeah. But, you know, it's got stack pipes, custom, um, ranch mud flaps on it. Um, no tailgate. It's got all that country stuff to it. It's like I like it. Um, this is something you use for fencing. Let me pop it off. This is what you'd use for fencing. And that, I just place it right in the back. Hold on. Okay. I just place it right in the back like this. Looks pretty good. This truck doesn't have differential covers because I I kind of just started making this one. So and then these are awesome. Uh, I think this was a great idea to make. Um, I thought this was cool to make this little oopsie thing. Uh, I just kind of used these these little pieces like this. Put them onto a brick and then popped them out with a slider. And, you know, so they look pretty good. And that's how they turned out. This the truck looks like without the steps. A little bit taller, but I like them with the steps. Makes the truck look a little bit better. I'm just saying a little. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, you can leave a comment about the trucks. I'll, uh, I'll, get, I'll get back to you on it. So, yep. Pretty good. This is, uh, this is probably one of my favorite. So. Well, actually, these two trucks, these two are my favorite trucks, so. I've been working on this, like, this is, don't laugh at me. I know it's pretty stupid, but, you know, because the color coordination is pretty dumb. But, anyway, this is just a Lego, uh, it was formed from the Lego camper some dude made. A really, really big one, but I shortened it, um, and then made it into a horse trailer with a little sleeper, uh, up front. So, I'm in the back comes right off and stuff and then you can shove a horse in there and um, yeah but you know we got you know places to tie the horses up and right there sorry um now I chose this door I had like three other doors on it but I just kinda like this one and lights up there it pops out I don't know if I can get it to pop out there you go and then there pops out right there and that looks very good. But, you know, gold mine and stupid stuff like that. And then I got this little vented roof here. And that's that. Oh, yeah, and I got these little things on the side. Because I think it looks really cool like that. Well, it lines up with the, with the wheel wells right there. So. Um, then I also have this trailer. This is a... It holds all my dirt bikes. It's on the trailer right here. I pull it behind the Bronco. This holds the trailer. The dirt bikes and stuff. And uh, here's the Lego. What I did to the Lego tractor. Um, I couldn't really find a thing for it, so I made this. Um, yeah, I do notice that this is poking out way too freaking far, and it looks like crap. But to be honest, it somewhat works. I'm gonna change it really soon. So, yep, that's what I did. Um, the Bobcat, like a Bobcat, nothing changed of it, because it's kind of junk in parts to me, so. But, yep, so those are all my Lego, uh, all my custom Lego trucks that I've been making, and just kind of fixing since the last time I touched them. So, yep, well, thanks, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and it'll be all appreciated. Thank you.